Because of the way we've designed the software, you can actually use Beacon Mic or Beacon Mix Create for your two PC setup. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do that. And this video is gonna be about a two PC setup with Beacon Mic or Beacon Mix Create connected to the gaming PC. There are a lot of ways that you can actually set up a two PC setup, but I'm gonna show you the most common one today. To set things up on a two PC setup, you're gonna need about four cables. Well, two cables and two adapters. In total, these cables should cost no more than $30, $35. The first cable you're going to need is a 3.5 millimeter cable. You'll notice that on the end here, these have two poles, so they're TRS. These types of cables are super common. You can find them just about anywhere, and they're really inexpensive. While we wouldn't necessarily recommend that you go for the absolute cheapest one you can get, there isn't much of an advantage for this use case in going for a much more expensive cable. So after you've gotten two of these, you're also going to want to get two of these. These are called ground loop isolators. While not every setup is going to have a ground loop, it is common enough that we just recommend getting them to begin with. These ground loop isolators cost about 10 bucks and you can find them on Amazon and in most electronic stores. Now that we've gotten all of your cables, let's go ahead and plug them in. The first thing you're gonna do is from the line out or speaker out of your gaming PC, which is usually coded in green, you're going to plug in one end of your 3.5 millimeter cable. On the other end, you're going to plug in the ground loop isolator, just like that. And then the end of the ground loop isolator is gonna go into the line in, usually blue connection, on your streaming PC. This is gonna send your audience mix, which I'm gonna show you in a second, from your gaming PC to your streaming PC. Then to get streaming PC audio back to your gaming PC to hear alerts, you're going to again, take your 3.5 millimeter cable, plug it in the line out of the streaming PC, plug the other end into the ground loop isolator, and then plug the end of the ground loop isolator into the line in of the gaming PC. And just as a reminder, the line out is usually green and the line in is usually blue. If you don't have color coding on your motherboard, just consult your manual or go to the website. Now that we've hooked up the cables, what we need to do next is set up our inputs and outputs. Let's go into the software. In the software, we're going to assume that you've already set this up for a one PC setup. If you haven't done that yet, you wanna go through our Beacon Mic and Beacon Mix Create setup guides to make sure that you're all set and ready to go. We've made sending your audio to your second PC really simple from here. All you need to do is go over to the audience mix control panel, choose the drop down list, and then choose whichever option you have connected to your streaming PC. In most cases, this is gonna be speakers or headphones, Realtek audio. This all depends on the driver that your motherboard uses. Now that you've sent the audio to your streaming PC, let's take a look at OBS and make sure that we've set the inputs up correctly. Now that I'm on my streaming PC, we need to add my line in as a mic auxiliary device. Remember, on the gaming PC, we sent my audience mix from my line out to my line in. That's why we're adding it. If I go to File, Settings, Audio, I'll be able to add a mic auxiliary audio device here. In this case, I have line in right here. When I select it, it'll show up. I can hit apply. And now I should be receiving audio from my gaming PC. There's a few things that you'll want to check here to make sure that the audio sounds its best. Always do a test recording. Always make sure that the audio levels are coming through strong and also make sure that it's coming in stereo. Sometimes Realtek is gonna default this to being a microphone and it's gonna down mix this to mono. Mono audio is just one channel with the same audio on both sides. So if you're playing something like a game and something's coming from the left or the right, your stream's not gonna be able to hear that. It's gonna sound like they're coming right at them. There are so many forms of the Realtek audio app that it probably doesn't make sense for me to show you here, but if you have any questions, of course, make a ticket with us or join our Discord and we can help you get those settings right. 
Since we're still on the streaming PC, what we're going to want to do is make sure that our default output for the streaming PC is set to whatever my line out is. In this case, it's speakers. So I'll go into sounds, go to playback, and I'll make sure that speakers is set up as my default device and my default communication device. If this isn't set correctly, it doesn't matter if you have the cable connecting your two computers, it's not going to send that streaming PC audio back to your gaming PC. Let's go back to the gaming PC. On the gaming PC, we are going to add a hardware fader. If this for whatever reason is grayed out, it means that you've used your two aux devices. These are all shared, so make sure that you only have at most one aux device and then you can add a hardware fader. Now remember, your streaming PC audio is going from the line out of your streaming PC into the line in of your gaming PC. So all we need to do is select line in in this drop down list. You're now going to start hearing your audio and you can control the volume of your streaming PC audio, which is usually your alerts right here. And that's it. If you have any other questions about how to do a two PC setup, check out the knowledge base article down below, join our discord or make a ticket. We'd be happy to help.